back into some more The Last Flame. We're playing the demo still here, and I had one run so far, which turned out okay for a first run, maybe. I wasn't able to beat the boss. Don't know what I'm doing, really, so let's, <laughs> let's jump back in and see what's up. Okay, Ascension is the only thing that we can play during the whole thing. I just accidentally did the tutorial again, which I don't need. So let's... Okay, no. No, we're not doing this again. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Abandon this run. Thank you for the summary of my crappy, crappy start. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're playing Ascension. No tutorial. Embark. Bloop, bloop. All right, let's see how far we can go here. Uh, I just choose things that I think look cool. Elios looks pretty darn cool. Kira looks nice. Naka looks pretty cool as well. I, I definitely don't uh, remember using him. And Kasara also looks cool. Are you a spellcaster? How do I tell? You are a caster, ranged, stunna. She be stunning. This guy's melee, right? He's melee, attack damage dealer, shield mastery. He takes advantage of shields with what hand? Right? <laughs> How does he use a shield? All right, I'm gonna take Naka. How much do I get? Two heroes, Naka and Kasara are my two people I'm choosing. A clickable relic, spend one trophy to gain 140 coins, gold. Spend one trophy to get a whole bunch of coins, interesting. Buddy's Tooth. When you win a fight with three or more dead heroes, you gain double the amount of trophies. Woof! Cursed Gold Bar. Upon picking up this relic, you gain 1450 gold upon entering combat. If you have more than 1000, all heroes get stunned. Well, that is not going to be great for me. When the fight starts, all heroes gain plus three spell power per stack of Enchanted Feather. Enchanted Feather. Every floor visited, you gain one stack of Enchanted Feather. Visiting a campfire resets the stacks to zero. You gain one stack. Okay, so plus 3% spell power if you don't visit a campfire. Can I see the map, M? Open it up. I kind of want to see if I want to visit a thing, but you know, 3% spell power sounds pretty good. So I'm going to do it. Whoa, cool, act one. Illusio Forest. Did I see this last time? This little comic strip? Because I don't remember it. I like it. Oh, here's the map. So they didn't decide for us yet. Oh, you know what? I love that they highlight the path for you once you start choosing where you're going. And it shows you the possible ways that you can go. I really, really do love that. Um, do we need a campfire? Because the one right before the boss seems like a good idea, but that will reset all of our feathers. If we want one, maybe we take this one in the mid and then we continue building up our feather thing. Or we can just omit the whole thing and not do any kind of uh, campfire, which maybe I will do. This is a reroll. That means you reroll your champions or you rerolled some skills or something. I can't remember. Swapping is swapping around the, your character's skills for sure. I remember that. Maybe I'll go this way. Mistake? I don't know. So this seems simple enough. We just want the melee guy to take the damage and then we have everyone else doing range damage. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So our melee guy is doing more damage than our ranged person for now. She is a spellcaster, so our one trinket, this thing, could possibly put her over the edge if we let it go for a long time. Uh, what are you? You're melee, you are a tank. Cool. I kind of like that. You take advantage of shields. Let me see my heroes. I, I wish that, maybe it's just because I'm a noob, but I wish these things stayed on the hero panel somewhere. Oh! <laughs> I'm a noob. Look at that. Okay, cool. I, I understand where things are found now. Do we want more damage ranged? This guy is attack damage dealer. He also does burn. We're doing a whole bunch of bleed already, I think. You're bleeding. You are stunning. And then we also have the other status effect of burning that we can take advantage of. Maybe I will just take Marco here, who's super ranged. He is a hybrid damage dealer. 
Oh, okay. Well, that's good because we do have spell damage stuff happening. Let's go full damage. Let's just do it. Caster's Amulet, 4% regen, plus 4 regen, but minus 10% attack speed. We can get a whole bunch of attack damage, or we can get defensive items. Let's go defensive because we have no healing or anything like that. You hold this. How do I check you out again? Right click. Oh, that's trophies. All right, I'm going to give it to him anyways. It's right click to give, to give you that panel. I remember some things. Not everything, but I remember some things. So we definitely want you here. Let's go. Okay, they got some range, these guys. I guess that would be the reason why you wanted to take a look at the enemy's profile as well, but I, I'm not doing that. So your spell damage, you are a melee frost debuff. You are straight up a caster. I think I'm going caster this time. Okay, what do you do exactly? You're hybrid, but you're melee. I don't like melee exactly. I might take one more melee character as a tank. Hopefully a spell casting tank or something like that because we have the feather. On cast, the wearer gains 8% 8 attack speed. Stacks up to 5 times. When the wearer's attack damage is equal to above 160, you get more crit chance. The wearer gains 1 mana regen for every 150 shield. Not sure if we're getting shield. This makes the most sense for us, but we really can't use it yet. We, we can use our flame to reroll, but I don't want to do that. And yeah, we can't have them wear the thing without forging it first. And I don't want to give the heavy armor to anyone else but I, my tank, so I kind of screwed that up. C'est la vie. It is what it is. Okay, so you're going to go f deep in there, and then we're just going to... We're just going to set these guys up for success over here, right? Zippity zoo, zippity za. Oh. Oh, that's him casting. Okay. Whoa, we really wrecked those those little dudes. So he just ranked up. Every attack the hero has 15% chance to stun. That might be good. Every second attack inflicts one burn or one frost at random to all enemies. When below 50% HP, attacks consume two frost to heal... It has to be two frosts, though, to heal for five max HP. I kind of like fire and ice, but stunning attack is more consistent. Right? Oh, let's, let's try fire and ice. Who else wants some trophies, bros? Here, you can have some trophies. It gives you five level. All right, let's just level you up and see what you do. Every six seconds, the hero heals the lowest percent HP hero for spell power. Every time the hero critical strikes with an attack, you get a shield. Okay, you're doing magic potion one hundo. Are you a spell casting tank? You are just a damage dealer, eh? Hybrid damage dealer. You are a melee tank defense burn debuff. Are you spell? How do I know if you're spell casting? Damage, plus SP, mana regen, you are definitely not a tank. Let's try this guy out. Again, I'm just going off on a whim for everything that's happening that you're seeing on the screen. Still learning everything. Don't hate me. Uh, six mana regen, but you have three max mana. Okay, so you have more regen, but you have more to regenerate before you cast. Attack speed and defense. Spell power and HP I am more interested in. Let's forge it up. So we definitely want this staff thing with this. Forge. Ding, ding, ding. Who gets it? Who did the most damage? Ka Kasara? Guess what? You just got upgraded. That means that she should probably be closest to the firing line, perhaps, because she's more tanky. Maybe that's the wrong way to think about it, but it's the way I am personally thinking about it. So we can shop here. Oh, Sorcerer's Hat. When the fight starts, the wearer gains 150 spell power, but their max mana is increased by 50%. So they're a huge nuker at that point. Every attack the wearer gains 3% attack damage. Sacks 25 times. At 25 sacks, the wearer gains 15% attack speed. And then the, the whole thing starts again. Very cool. Um, we would love that. Oh, we can buy these guys too. 
Do I have any of these guys? I can't remember. Hey, where's my hero panel? I'm pressing H and it's not doing it. Maybe it's just the demo? Because I think you get trophies if you have them already. I, I don't feel like getting more heroes to swap out. I'm not smart enough to know what's up. So I'm just going to take some of these. Uh, Bone God I like for... Wait, every 5 seconds the wearer stuns their current target for 0.2 seconds per bleed. That is also pretty damn good. But I think I like the Bone God. Oh, I wish I could buy that too. Can I sell stuff? Dismantle. Oh, it's a cost to dismantle your forgery. Well, screw that. Open the forge. Why is my keyboard shortcuts not working? The freck, dude. So we want to forge this because it is armor for our guy. Are you still wearing it? It's armor for our guy, but also he has a whole bunch of attack speed, which will help him empower that fire and ice as he's attacking faster. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. It's just not working. Let's proceed. Hello. Wait, we can give trophies too. Where's your leveling progress? Where is their level progress? More? No? I guess I can't give trophies in this particular window. Okay, so we have our two tanks here, right? What are you? Tanky boy? Yes, you are. Uh, maybe I should have given you one of these armors. Defense is 70. Okay, you're 35. 35 is not a lot of armor. Let's put this on this guy. And then we're going to tank this. Uh, you can tank this one. And then we're good with that. Oh my god, this guy's dying. Yo, don't do this. Disengage! <laughs> oh no! Disengage! <laughs> okay, maybe this... I wonder if this guy could have tanked two of them at the same time. Ugh. I just hate losing characters here. Recruit a hero. Yo, you look good. I think I had him last time. Crit mastery... And then summons. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to take you and replace the other tank with you. So let's... Okay, give me this. Can I give it to him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pick an item. Warlock's book. You get more mana regen, but the wearer loses 300 HP when the fight starts. Yikes. Healing cloak. Every five seconds the wearer heals the lowest HP for blah, 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 plus spell power. Very cool. Realms shield for every enemy currently targeting the wearer. The wearer gains 17 defense. Whew! I love it. Um, so that almost means we don't need a second tank in a way. We need a backup tank, which we already actually have. The hero with the highest max HP gains 750 and gets healed for the same amount. Uh, I believe that would be who we want it to be, right? You have the highest HP, sir? No, you do. Can I just unequip it for a second? Wait, you have a whole bunch too. Uh. Okay, let me try something then. Uh, get me out of this. I, I might take that Hexile buffs I don't really like. All heroes gain plus 50% shield received, and then that's another Hex. Let's take the Malachite. Mal Malachite? Malachite? So it looks like it applied to him, right? Yeah, sure did. So what we want to do is go back to the forge. Forge me. And then we want to take this shield. We want to put it on this. Boom, boom, boom. And he is currently wearing... He will be currently wearing that. So we want him to tank. Let's proceed. So we can have an event or we can have a reroll. I don't know what a reroll is. And I don't think I've seen any events. I, I want to fight this elite. Okay, let's go to the event. You rejoice in taking a nice walk in the forest when you suddenly fell into a trap. You see a horde of enemies approaching quickly. You They are shouting, something in not English. You are terrified. Fight back the gankers. If defeated, get cursed ganked. If victorious, get 200 gold. 
Do we need that 200? There is a shop. Persuade with an item, lose an item of your choice. Hell no, get robbed. Okay, we're fighting. Uh, so you are going to replace uh, this guy. Yes, sir. You have some items, right? Yes, you do. So this guy needs to get attacked by as many people as possible. He's right behind them, and then everyone else is, you know, doing the thing that they do. Uh, let's see if this works out well, because it could work out very, very poorly. Do we have someone healing? I don't remember if we are, but we're going to try the fight. Oh, goodness, no. Oh, it's working! Tis be working. The thing is, this guy's like auto-healing himself. So it's kind of terrible if he has all the focus on him. I mean, it worked out fine, so I, I, I guess it, I guess it's fine. Okay, all these are new dudes. Don't love any of them. What are you, Malay? Support? What do you support with? When the hero gets below 50%, they gain 12% lifesteal and 20 attack damage. And he does shielding orbs, and then you're just a ranged person. Sure, I'll take Korra. I, I don't think I'm going to use you, but I'll take you on the team. For every two attacks, the warrior heals for three times the amount of bleed and frost on the enemy. Okay. On cast, the wearer gains 100 max HP and receives a heal equal to 3% of their max HP on cast. Okay. Interesting. Every six attacks, the wearer gains one mana regen. At three stacks, the wearer gains 20 spell power. That sounds awesome. But I might take the shield here. I don't think we even have items to put the shield on. Let's proceed. And then we're going to go with an elite. We'll see. Actually, we should do some trophies. Trophy time. Okay, so you get to heal for every 500... HP lost during this fight, the hero gains 7% lifesteal. Hmm. Okay, let's put you on with that. Thanks for... Thanks for that. Uh, no one else is going to level up exactly. But let's try giving it to this guy. He seems pretty close. So you want everyone attacking you, basically. You want to be right behind him. And then everyone else is like this. Let's see. Whoa! Nice! Okay, this chick is doing more damage than our our one character who we've... Oh, there she goes! We've kind of stacked her up with a whole bunch of items, but she is higher level than this girl. And she's not doing as much damage, so now I'm very, very suspicious. Who's, who's rank? This guy's rank 2, okay. The hero's spell power is increased by 5% of the current shield. Nope. Every 7 seconds, shield the hero and the lowest HP hero. Perfect. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Kasara. I think we're giving your... I think we're giving your thing to this guy. Because they are doing more damage. It looks like a female. My bad. Recruit a hero. Do we have Xanmar? Is that who we're using? Oh, this guy looks pretty crazy. He's a tank. I kind of like the look of him, but we also have Vinrak, who is just an on-hit dealer. He does a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I might take the additional tank in case we need the extra tankiness for a specific fight. Not that I'd be able to tell anyways. Um, all of these look kind of bad. I want to start using that thing that we can forge, which is a shield. So I'll take the defensive item. Forge me up. Yep, forge, bloop, 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 cool. So what does this thing do again? On cast. So you have six out of six, you have five out of five. It's a healing item, you should really take it. And honestly, you should take the extra defense as well. Choose a relic, all heroes gain 16 defense. Okay, deal 25 damage per bleed to the enemy with the most bleed every four seconds. The hero with the highest max mana gains Seven spell power per max mana. Woo! Okay, I'm going to take Coral Heart. We've been taking a lot of defensive items, so I'm, I'm going to take that offensive one. Yeah, so we have a swap here. I don't know if I'm going to swap any of our skills, to be honest with you. 
Whoa, look at this. This fight is for real. Oh, wait. Shoot. Um, does it make sense if we do something like this? Like, what if we just do this? And then this guy would come over here and, and try to kill this guy, right? This guy's high level, but he has more rank. I don't know who would be more squishy. That makes sense that I can just click on them. Okay, cool. So hopefully we can just kill this guy really quick. Everyone's focused here. If he goes for this blue guy, great. Um, unless, oh god, unless he's going to come over to here because these guys are going to swarm around that way. Actually, what if we did this? Just to ensure that the squishies don't get targeted. Let's go. Did not work out. Didn't work out at all. Oh my god. Please stop. Go get him. Pull aggro. Okay, it worked. It was getting... Oh. It was getting dicey for a bit, but we, we made it through. But with some, you know, poor planning. But hey, it worked. Okay, so we have Book of Judgment, Demolisher, or War Staff. Every four attacks the spell, the wear gains 15 spell power, but max mana is increased by one. Max mana by one doesn't scare me that much, to be honest. I'm going to pick it up. Passive swap. So we have Fire and Ice. I want to keep that on him. Magic Potion is fine on Kasara. Spell Shield. Shield the hero and the lowest HP for X amount. Okay. Um, who are you, Marco? Marco, what do you do? Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, I don't think we need rapid recovery on anybody else. That's the thing. So I think we're just gonna not use the passive swap. Thanks for offering. We have either an elite or we can go to a shop. Let's shop it up. So first of all, we need to forge... Oh. We need something to forge that thing with. So it has to be Spellcaster. Spell power is obviously the best option. Let's forge it. And then we have leather gloves that we don't have equipped with anything. For every five attacks, gain one spell power. For each bleed, shock on the enemy. Hmm, not great. Whoa, every attack the wearer has 10% chance to fill their mana to full. I love it. Let's, let's pick it up and just forge it. This is a boss fight that I haven't been able to beat yet, so let's just try to do our best to get through it. Um, we're going to go... Hey, look. We can get experience from this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Did they level up? I can't tell. Uh... Rank 3. She did. Oh, it opens at level 4 for their next thing. Okay, so who do we want the defensive mana full thing on? I guess this guy. And then the war staff for... Do I just keep powering you up? What's the secondary? Max mana is increased. Okay, your mana is kind of huge already. Let's give it to her. See how it goes. Oh my goodness. Let's, uh, what am I doing? Go back and then we're proceeding. Let's go to this big boss boy. Well, thank God it's only one of them. Last time I think I was fighting like five dragons. Reach strength three, pick one. Okay, hero gains this or you can get spell power. Or two mana regen. Oh, give me that. And then you can do 50% critical strike probably. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to arrange them like this. And then you want to be backup tank. Okay, let's try it. I don't know if that arrangement makes any sense or any kind of difference, but it's one dude fighting my tank and then everything else is just happening. This is amazing. We're getting a ton of bleed on him. Oh, no! What happened to you? Did he su summon an ad? What the... So he just did a death spell on one of my dudes, I guess. 
Get the hell out of here. Yeah, there's there's something going on there. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's it's pretty terrible. Oh, what the hell? Okay, at least we only had one death. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We got 12 trophies, lots and lots to use to uh, upgrade. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Range pyro. Another pyro. This guy's range support. What do you do? A shield? Alright, I'll take Z Ooh, maximum party. Honestly, I like my party and I, I'm just going to quit out of that for now. Let's do some items. Corrupted Dagger. Rare gains 2% attack damage per 3% missing HP. I love it. On Castle Wearer receives a heal equal to 200% defense. Now that is interesting. Because this guy would heal 200. Actually, is that a lot? I guess that's not that much. Scarlet's Hat. Sorcerer's Hat. When the fight starts, the wearer... Okay, we've seen that before. So they basically get a lot more... Spell power, but we get a bunch of mana. I like the Corrupted Dagger. I don't know if we can really use that yet, but we're going to try. Let's pick a Relic. Use. Gain 75% amount of gold that you currently own. One use only, and you can only use it once. Yeah, okay. Whenever you pick up an Origin or change your Origin. What? Heal for 30 and gain 300. What the hell is Origin? Uh, I might have learned that when I first did the tutorial. I don't know what an origin is, so I'm not going to choose that. You have an additional action at the campfire. We're not doing campfires. We got the, our feather thing going on. After each fight, if you're below 35, for 35 flame, you get healed. Okay, I'm going to use the pyramid. Let's start leveling up our dudes as well. Okay, you're falling behind. I don't know why. When gaining a shield from any source, the hero gains 1% attack speed for each hero in summon on this field. When getting a shield from any source... Okay, uh, you're not getting a shield, but maybe you can change... Maybe you can swap with somebody. I don't like these. Can I reroll? I don't think I can reroll. Okay, we're moving on from 2 to 3 now. Level this guy up. Uh, let's do hero defense for you. And then... Everyone's going to be at 3. Alright, screw it. Let's just do it. Attack speed for you. You're not going to get topped off, but that's fine. Is there more to the demo? Sweet! Act 2. Petrafi Desert. Let's do it. Okay, so once again, we have this relic. So we don't want to hit any of these... Uh, campfires unless like absolutely needed which I honestly don't know what that situation is uh, I would love to get to this last that last uh, shop and then use our pyramid thing wherever it is where's our pyramid the hell remember that relic I picked up okay there it is so if I could last all the way there without spending any money that would be great let's try it out Oh my god! Okay, lots happening here. Oh, yeah. I don't know how the hell to do this without being in danger of getting attacked. Okay, I think that works. <laughs> Let's try it out. Great. He has aggro. Sweet. Man, I don't know what happened, but we're, we're kind of killing it at this point. Yeah, get him. Get him. Our tank is doing very, very well. So what do we have in a forge? We have a attack speed thing. We want to give that to our one melee hero. This guy right here, Naka. Um... I think I so at least. He has an increased critical hit chance right now as well. I only want to give it to him because he's applying bleed in a lot of things right now. Maybe that's not the right way to go. Uh, but I'm going to take the superior iron spear because we can give that to anybody really. Really, Naka? What? How could you do this to me? I thought you were better than that. Who's Marco? This guy? You Marco? 
Oh, what the hell, Naka? I don't know what happened to this guy. Well, either way, we're going to try to prove the theory. Maybe it was just the enemy types that we were fighting. I don't know. But he better be doing better soon because that was kind of crappy. Okay, you are a spellcaster, so let's just do... Maybe I'll go mana regen for you. Again, I don't know <laughs> enough about what I'm doing to make great decisions. Um, I'm just going to take this to give this guy experience. I can't afford anything good here, I'm guessing. So I'm just going to back out and bounce. We're not... Oh, shoot! I failed to realize that there were two campfires in the way. I thought I could go straight like this. Frick, I'm going to lose all these feathers. I hate myself. Might as well do it now then. Oh, this is an origin, right? All heroes gain spell power equal to 25% attack damage. For every critical strike dealt, there is 25 chance that all heroes gain one mana regen. I love it. Brawler. Corrupted. Okay. No. For every 50 HP healed, all heroes gain plus one shield. Okay, cool. Every three seconds, the lowest HP hero receives a heal. Equal to 10% of the team's bonus max HP. Hmm. Not a lot. I'm going to take Arcane Weaver. Because mana regen is pretty sick. Upgrade a rare recipe into epic recipe. I don't need to rest. So maybe I'll do enchant first of all. Which one is really good? Here, I'll do realms defense. What do you look like now? Okay, so it increased the amount of defense per. And then I'll just do another rest. Proceed. Thanks for taking away all my feathers, you mofo. I hate you. Okay, this should be easy. Okay, you're, you're backing them up, right? And then these guys. Stand guard behind here. Let's go. Looks good. Why are you so hurt? Wait, who hurt all these backline people? Oh, what the hell? No, 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 don't die. Oh, the AoE. No! <laughs> There's two of our dudes dead. Three of our dudes dead. Oh my goodness. Keep summoning. At least Naka did a good job this time. Oh, you gotta be crazy. No. No. Yo, fight it. No! <laughs> My life has been ruined. On cast, the wearer gains 10% attack damage. Every 5 attacks, the wearer gains 1% gains one attack speed for each bleed on the target. Okay. That's, that's kind of good. Blood Drinker, when the wearer's attack damage is 160 or above. A lot of these guys don't have that luxury, my friend. Let's take the Sanguine Blade. Uh, which we can't forge. Yep. Well, that really sucked. Why was that so difficult? Alright, this one should be easy for real. Okay, if you guys fail at this one, I, I don't know what to think. You're almost leveled up. I'm just going to give it to you. Okay. Okay. Looking good. I guess that is a reason. The last fight is a really good showcase that you shouldn't just clump all of your guys together. Which I failed to realize is a really, really obvious strategy. Uh, I don't want a recipe. Okay? Can I reroll for actual items? No, you can't. I just wasted five flame. Um, okay, every three attacks, the wearer gains attack damage equal to the amount of summons. More crit chance, of wear, the wearer's critical strikes inflict one shock. Okay, the wearer's attacks have 50% chance to inflict one shock to all enemies. I love it. A six shocker spear. We don't really have a lot of shock going on right now anyways. So I, I might not use it, but I took it. Let's keep it going. So we wanted to get to that shop, so let's go this way. This is a re-roll event. 
Okay, any AOE dudes here? Because I, I don't like that. Um, okay, no, we're going to have to place you here. You're going to be right behind him. Let's pull these guys away. What the hell? Did I just put a guy away? Nope. Does that work? Let's see. So far, so... What the frick? So far, so good. We're taking away all of the easy enemies, first of all. So that's... That's fine. Let's see how tanky this guy is. No, hit the tank. Hit the tank. Okay, I think it's happening. Sweet. Easy enough. Let's see what you got. Every two attacks, the hero inflicts one shock to all enemies. Also, every time the hero stuns a target, they inflict one shock to all enemies. The hero attacks have 20% chance to rapidly attack an additional time. Don't really care about your attack, right? Like, how, how strong is his attack compared to everyone else's? Not, not too bad, but not that great. Let's try the electric attacks. Maybe we can switch that off with somebody later on. Thank God for this. Uh, spells, amulet. I think we have a bunch of melee weapons or melee things, though. Ooh. 50% chance to shock all enemies. I Let's reroll this. Damn it. Attack speed is good. So let's forge it up. Every five attacks you get blah 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 blah. Yes. And then every attack has a chance to shock everybody. Great. Who do I want to give it to now? So you would be great on the bleed thing because you're actually bleeding. Yeah, that's fine. And he's also an attack speed dude. And then the attack speed, I'm going to give it to Marco here. I think he has the fastest attack speed, right? Attack speed is 1.1. I think he's attacking the fastest. Yeah. Sweet. We're all sorted. Reroll passive. Oh, it's straight up a reroll. Okay, so there was this one that I hate. Keep, change for, change for. Change for every third active ability, the hero casts their active ability twice. Love it. This hero gains 20% on hit effectiveness when the fight starts and attacks deal an additional 15 on hit damage. Um, how fast are you doing your active ability and what is it? Seven. I feel like this would be better. So I just did it. Okay, now we know what a reroll is. I, I kind of love the reroll. We probably have another reroll out there that we could use, which we'll run into. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the elite fight, and I feel like this one's going to be messed up. Like, just truly messed up. Yeah, this is not going to be good. No, no, no. You attack him. Ah. <sighs> Okay. I wish I could place him closer over here. Maybe I can do something like this. Is that good? Are you facing this guy? I can't tell, but I'm hoping this is good. Go for it. Okay. Lots of squishy enemies up in here. Where is this person? Okay, this is the person I'm looking at. Their mana regen is... Pretty decent. I'm just seeing if we're getting three attacks from them or three ability casts from them per uh, per fight. And we definitely are. Awesome. Recruit a hero. Let's just upgrade Orion, who we're not even using. Pick an item. Plus 50% on hit effectiveness. Shocking spear once again. Shielding dagger. Every four attacks, the wearer gains. A shield equal to 75% attack damage. That's not a whole lot. Um, I guess I'll take another Shocker Sphere. And then we have Dandelion. Shield's the lowest percent, lowest percent hero. I'm guessing percent HP. For 140 every 4 seconds. That's not a whole lot. All heroes gain 500 shield but lose 350 when the fight starts. Hmm. All heroes gain 15% spell steal. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. We can have a whole bunch of HP as well. 
What is spell steal? Uh, can I get info? How do I get info again? It's tab, I think, right? Debuffs. Can I search for spell? Spell steal? Glossary. Spell steal. Where you at? Heals for a portion of the damage you dealt through spell. Hoo -hoo -hoo. We're taking strange bug. Proceed. Reroll. Let's go. Okay, so there's an enemy right here. No, 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 no. You aim for him. All these guys facing this big dude. I think this is the best we're going to get. Oh, you mother effer. Oh, no. Get this guy. She's healing, though. I think her spell steal is just, like, just totally owning everything. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay, we lost a couple of guys there, but overall, not too bad. Let's pick an item. What do we have in the forge? Another shocker spear. Um, even more attack speed looks like what we should be doing. Attack speed, attack speed, forge it up. You know what? I might I might super commit on Marco for doing the shock stuff. Or we can give it to Naka. No, I'm going to give it to Marco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marco, shock him up, bro. Okay, what do I hate the most? No, heal is good. Double ultimate is fine. Electric attacks is not the best. Spell shield is also terrible because he... This guy, Marco, does not have spell power. So let's change for when gaining a shield. Nope. Sure. Mana dragon, fine. It was the best one there. It wasn't my favorite for him, but he gets two additional mana regen. All right. Let's check this out. I have 746. Maybe I'll use... Let's use this thing. Use. Thank you, sir. So we have a bunch of cash. For every attack, every attack the wearer has 2% chance per shock and bleed on the enemy that has the most of those debuffs to gain a shield equal to the max HP, equal to a certain percentage. That is pretty cool. Every three critical strikes, the wearer's mana gets filled to full. Holy crap. Okay, who can we put that on? Who's critting a whole bunch? 20%. You only have 5%? So you have 20%. You're attacking kind of quickly. Um, maybe I'll give it to you. Wait. You have a thing that lets your active ability be like crazy as hell? Okay. So maybe we'll give it to her. What the hell? No thanks. Yo, these suck. Spell power and defense is okay. Ugh. I don't know if I want it anymore. Because these items are really bad. Do I have anything in the forge? No, I don't. On hit effectiveness. Uh, every attack they dare do, the wear deals additional on hit damage equals to four times the shock on their current target. Defense. On hit. Wait. Attack steal additional eight times max mana as on hit damage. Whoa, cool. Shield received. The wearer's HP is consumed before their shield unless they have... Whoa, that's weird. I'm not going to read into that. That sounds crazy. Okay, let's take this critical strike thing. And then I'm going to take the spell power so that I can forge. And give it to our one person. You. You get it. And then we still have a bunch of cash. Okay. Every six seconds you get healed. Uh, that's kind of cool. On cast, the next attack deals an additional on hit damage equal to 15% of your max HP. Holy crap. Yo, that's good. 15% actually doesn't seem like that much. Am I just going to save cash here? I might just save the cash. Wait, 24% critical strike chance. Okay, we need to give this to you. Because you have a whole bunch of crit stuff happening. Love it. Let's proceed with that and hope for the best, shall we? 
All right, one enemy elite once again. Wait a minute, what are you? Uh, what? Are you aiming or are you just like a stationary thing that kills me? I'm gonna assume it's just a stationary thing that kills me. We're stacking them up behind here then because I'm scared of these podiums. I don't know what the hell it does. Okay, let's go. Let's go, team. Uh, why did you just shoot that? What the hell is this? I don't know. At least it's squishy. Yikes. Yo, hit the green thing, guys. This does not bode well. There's a bunch of shock getting tossed around, which I love. Keep going. My my characters are not dying. It's just kind of a slow burn. This guy has a, sh a crap ton of shield, I think. His health bar is non-existent. He has so much shield. Holy moly. We're going to do it. This is going to happen. Yeah. We're good. Wow. Surprisingly easy. Very, very pleasant. Thanks for playing the demo. Oh, we reached the end of the demo. Well, that was great. I won't look into all of these stats. Um, kind of a bittersweet feeling right now. I... I really, really enjoyed the demo. I was hoping that I would have more challenges with it, to be honest. With these type of games, it takes me a while to learn it, but I guess at this point we have to make a decision. Are we done with The Last Flame, or do we want more? I really, really enjoyed that. I think that I would lean towards getting more of it, but I, I might stick it on this, the wish list and see if it goes on like a massive sale or something like that. Um, yeah, there, there's so many games on the backlog that I don't need to play it right now. Oh, wait a minute. It's not even out. <laughs> not even out yet. So yeah, it's definitely on the wish list. We're, we're going to see where we're at when it comes out. I think they're making a prologue version of the demo. So just a little bit more content than what we had just seen. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. I'll leave a link in the description for the demo and you can wish list it there as well. Uh, consider subscribing. I play a lot of roguelites on the channel. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing to help out the channel and also leave a comment. Would love to hear your thoughts on the game, the gameplay or the video itself. Would love to, just love to hear what your thoughts are on those things. For now, thanks again for joining and I'll see you again soon. Peace out.